Prag and welcome to Radio World. My name is Heidi uh, and today I have uh, Luna and Sophie with me from Rødå Gymnasium. Uh, we are going to discuss the English, uh, the British Empire uh, and their stay in the Burmese country. Oh, okay, Sophie, what do you think about uh, the British Empire and their stay in Burma when they were there? Um, I I don't think that they taught them anything useful, and okay. um, I believe that they were wrecking their culture wrecking. and. Uh, um, How were they wrecking their culture? Um, yes, yes, okay. Uh, by they were modernizing modernizing the country um, by building a hospital hospitals and schools and police stations and and after that they there. But but isn't isn't that a good thing, uh, Luna? What do you what do you have to say about that? I think that that the the British man came to Burma. Yes. And. Uh, as you said, Sophie, helped them to build uh, schools and hospitals and prisons, but that's what they need. They couldn't do it themselves, so it was a passive thing that the Englishmen came to help them. Okay, yeah, so Sophie, there was there was no uh, Burmese national culture left when they when the British people were done. You know, it the that culture disappeared completely. Yeah, I and mean, why why did it disappear? Mm, because they they took that they the British men took the British culture and uh, forced it on the and the, how, by doing what what did the Englishmen do? Uh, <laughs> uh, I've heard about uh, they learned them their language and stuff. Uh, did they do that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But that wouldn't break their culture. They just helped them. They, they helped them uh, modernize their country. They helped them modernize, right. So, uh, how do you feel about this statement that the Englishmen only taught uh, young men from Burma to drink whiskey and play football, Duna? That's a lie. That's, That's a obviously lie. a lie. Okay. They, they helped them uh, build these uh, schools and hospitals, as we said before. Yes. And. Uh, and of course, we, uh, the Burmese people helped the British too. It was like a, a two-way street. Yeah. They helped each other. It, yeah, of course, maybe they, they learned them how to drink whiskey. So the but, Burmese uh, people... But in a friendly way, maybe, I, I guess. Yeah, but the British people came to Burma so they could run the country, you know. The to help the, mm. the Burmese run their country. Yeah, in an English way. So the Burmese Burmese culture weren't exist exist. No, but that would be better than not having uh, cars or roads or ships. Why? They couldn't uh, bring the I don't know what they did uh, grow cucumbers. I don't know, but they couldn't. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> Uh, We're on the radio, you can't do this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they couldn't transport it to another country if they hadn't uh, railways and things to do it with. And the Englishmen came to help them with that. So you believe that the Englishmen, about the British Empire was a good thing and they only were... In yeah, the let's just... Uh, we are about to end this conversation, so all in all, Luna, do you think that uh, the Burmese, Burmese people gained something from having the Englishmen in their country? Yeah, they got uh, a lot of great things. As, as said before, they got hospitals and schools and, and there came some, uh, some laws and some, some orders in, in Burma that, uh, that they could use. And, yes. um, and what yeah. about you, Sophie? Are you convinced about uh, no. what Luna said? No, no, at all? no. no. <laughs> All right. I don't believe it that uh, they should have been there. 
But so, you weren't there, so... That's, that's yes, true. let's just finish <laughs> from now. And it was Luna and Sophie from Rodo Gymnasium. And we uh, are just going to say thank you for listening. Uh, this was Radio World.